gamers, welcome back to real videos. My name is Tom and this is Assassin's Creed Odyssey. We are back in this big beautiful world. Guys, it is that time once again. Let's get it on. Right, let me show you where we are in the map. Oh, don't do that, Tom. Right. We are currently here, which is this island here. The statue of Artemis of Godora. Godora. And we're going to go take on this quest of this talk to the Spartan Polmark. To watch Alexis cripple the Athenians was a thing to behold. As Spartan reinforcements flooded the beaches, Hedonis invited him to fight in one of the bloodiest battles Machaeus had ever seen. Okay, and that bad boy is over 271 meters. Right, let's go. Oh. Hope you guys have been well since you last saw. We are currently getting things, a lot of things are getting done. I'm quite sure how things are going. Okay, where are we? Legolas Military Camp. Right, guys, we were going to do that battle over there, but I've just run across this military academy, so. Alright, let's see what we can see, shall we? What do they have here? Legolas Military Camp. Alright, one there. One there. Okay, so we've got four so far. Five. Okay. Going now, people. The car. Right, right, all right. How could I miss that? Yeah, probably you do know I am. Here he comes. No, I think I will, mate. Bye-bye. That was a kick and a half. Ooh, I would kicked him off the cliff, mate. He was going down.
put that here. Oh, okay. It says the area is complete, so I still got bad guys, so I'm gonna kill these guys off first. Oh, he's down. He felt that. He definitely felt that. You down too, buddy. Let's see what that is. All right, all right, wait a minute. Legis military camp, okay, we completed that. I wanna go see what this other bar is. Right. Get that wood, man. Inventory. Arrows. Alright. Let's see what we can see, shall we? Yeah, wolves ain't gonna get you up here, mate. One down. One wolf down. Two wolves down. Two wolves are down. All right, let's see if we can get some pelts. Okay, okay, let me just have a quick look at the map and see what we're doing next.
Oh yeah, let's go check it out. Okay. Don't go home until these islands are ours. Dinos call. Sparsha answers. Cool. Independent Grateri. Alexios, I didn't think you'd come here after calling my plan a suicide. <coughs> And miss your speech? Never. Athenians give speeches. Spartans give orders. If I was under your command, what would you order me to do? Same thing I order my men. Bruised, bloody, or broken. Never hold back. <laughs> I never hold back. I can tell. I wasn't talking about fighting. I know. And I'm tempted. What? But I sailed here for Kira. She's the one I fight for. <laughs> what the heck was that? Well, if you're going to win these huh? islands for her, you'll need more soldiers. They'd never get here alive. The Athenian navy is too powerful, and our ship is at the bottom of the sea. Mine isn't. You'd confront them in open waters? Not sure if you're brave or just mad. The Adrestia and I have faced greater challenges than a few Athenian ships. You fight like Achilles reborn. But even you couldn't defeat the entire navy. But if I sink enough ships, the Spartans can get through. There's something else. A helmet was left on board my ship. It was my butters. I'll sink the ships. But I'm not making any promises about a helmet. You've been here long enough. How many ships protect Delos? You'll never sink them all. We just need to punch a hole in their patrols, enough to send them scrambling. So the helmet from your father means a lot to you. In case you're wondering, Pater means father. He prided from his butter on the battlefield of Thermopylae. Ooh. The sea is a big place. Where did your ship sink exactly? Somewhere off the northern coast of Mykonos. We could see Miltiadis' fort as we swam to shore. You've been here long enough. How many ships protect Delos? You'll never sink them all. We just need to punch a hole in their patrols. Alright. Left hawking. The sharks will have full bellies when I'm done. Okay, recommended 31. Okay, I'm level 30, but you know, we could always have a butcher's. After helping his mother secure Naxus and learning the whereabouts of his real father, Alexius set sail for Lucano to face the Sp his Spartan past and reclaim the place 
he once called home. Alright, let's see. Have we got a little location over there already? Um, home sweet home, okay. I clearly have not been over here. What's the closest I can get? Alright, we'll try to get to there. We'll call the Estrades and we'll sail over. That's the plan anyway. Excuse me if this video, guys, is a bit hot, hot to watch today. Alright. Alright, let's see where we're going. So, we're going that way. Come down here, around the coast. There, okay, that should be too bad. Get ready to set sail. I to see you, Commander. All right, we're in the ship. We haven't been in the ship for a while. Could we grab the salvage, Commander? Might as well. Oh, nice open sea tonight. That's good. That's good. Nice open sea. Oh, there, there's a anchor point right there. Ready the ship for mooring. All right. We have unlocked quite a bit. This Spartan is just control. First, all we do is that. We're in Spartan Town. Whoop. One synchronization. Okay. Forest of Eurotus. Okay, Forest of Eurotus. Okay, well, we've got a quest here, so we're going to go check that out first. Alright, let's go. 
Here we go. Lamb, you made it. I trust the seas were favorable? Poseidon might be the only one not trying to kill me. And did you go to Thera? Did you find him? I did. What did he tell you? He told me where I'm from. And where I must go. So now you know the truth. I'm not his son. I'm just a weapon. That is the furthest thing from the truth. You were brought into this world with love. I never imagined we'd stand on Spartan soil together again. As much as I curse this place for what it did to us, it feels more like home than Cephalonia ever did. Sparta is our home, but we'll have to rid ourselves of the puppet king if we are ever to find peace. Whatever happened to our old house? Nikolai <coughs> stayed after I left, but now that he's gone, I don't know. Why don't we go find out? Of course. But first, there's something I want to show you. Okay. Where you going? Ella. Looks like we're going on a horseback ride, guys. If you guys are enjoying these videos, um, I would really appreciate, you know, a like, a follow. You know, comment comments down below. Tell me what you're liking about the video. Come on. No matter how far I ran, I never could escape them. Did you put memories of us in that box? I wanted to, but it would have taken all the wood in the land to build one big one. Come on! Okay, we got somewhere. You have to excuse me, I'm a bit quiet, Ties. This is where I first trained you to use your spear. Got a bit of a sore throat today. Hesitation only hastens the grave. <laughs> you remembered. How do you think I got this far? We had to pry that spear from your hand while you slept. You said you needed it to fight the monsters in your dreams. I couldn't face Cerberus empty-handed. Those children will be ripped to shreds. We should help them. Alexios, wait. You shouldn't interfere. This is Spartan training territory. I hope you're right. For their sake. The Agogi is what turns boys into men. Interfering would only weaken them. Weaken Sparta. They're no good to Sparta if we leave them to die. And they're no good to Sparta if they're too weak to kill a wolf. Come. Let's go home. That's pretty good, John. The country said is ruthless. Not ruthless, effective. The best of those boys will become cryptia, keepers of the peace and stalkers in the night. Stalkers in the night? There's a reason Sparta never changes. It has rules, and they are strict. Spartans rule Laconia, but most of its citizens are Irobos, enslaved peasants made to work the fields and mines. Slaves? Why don't they revolt? Spartan fields keep them fed, and Spartan warriors keep them safe. First from the Persians, and now from the Athenians. 
This is a nice little city. I'm liking this. Most of us make great sacrifices for comfort. Most, not all. I never thought I'd find myself back in Sparta. It looks so pit. <sighs> wow, this is a long ride. Okay. This was the first and last place I ever felt safe. As soon as you were old enough to hold a spear, you trained in this yard from morning till night. Nikolaus was a tough teacher to please. He hid his pride from you. But every night he would tell me he's going to bring glory to Sparta. <sighs> as much as I hate him for what he did, I wouldn't be who I am today without his training. My heart broke that day. But for the first time in ages, standing here with you, I truly believe it can mend again. Nice. Me too. Do you remember the first time you held your sister? I've tried to block out what happened here. You were so scared of breaking her. You ran around the house, gathering every pillow and blanket. You piled them all around you, and only then did you feel safe to hold her. She was so small. Even then, you held her so tight, I thought you would squeeze the life out of her. She turned out stronger than we thought. The gods must be playing tricks on my eyes. Good to see you, Vrasidas. It's been a long time since I rescued you from the warehouse fire in Corinth. <laughs> That's not how I remember it. You look well, Vrasidas. The rumors were true. Oh. You're alive. Story time today, guys. Story time. Still breathing. When I heard the two of you came home. We're in Sparta, but we're not home yet. We want our house back, Vrasidas. Sparta claimed your estate after Nikolaos's disappearance. They're waiting for his adopted son to claim it. But he hasn't returned from the war. Stentor? Oh, I knew I should have killed him on the beach. What do we have to do to get it back? You'll need to negotiate your Spartan citizenship with the kings. It won't be easy. Why not? As happy as I am to see you, the kings won't be. Especially <coughs> Achidamus. Your exit from Sparta wasn't exactly... graceful. He can't still be mad I broke his nose. You what? In any case, he hasn't forgotten. But I have an idea that might help him forgive. Tell us. Spartan soldiers have been giving weapons to the Ilotes. Whoever takes care of these traitors will earn his thanks. Why on earth would Spartan soldiers be helping Ilotes? Ilotes greatly outnumber Spartan citizens. But they're leaderless, mostly farmhands, servants, and apprentices. If someone unified them, armed them, and trained them, they'd be a real threat to Sparta. But you said it was Spartans who were arming them. All the more reason to deal with this quickly. You find out why the Ilotes are being armed, and you'll have the king's attention. Where will I find these Spartans? They were last spotted in the Gorani marble quarry, in the forest of Eurotas. So, I find the soldiers, then what? Spartans are loyal to their commander. Take him out, and the rest should disperse. And the weapons? Destroy them. The Elotes have caused enough trouble with shovels and sickles. <laughs> the last thing Sparta needs right now is them carrying swords. So, to get our house back, I must take out the Spartan commander responsible for inciting a useless rebellion. Sounds easy enough. Find me in the throne room when it's done. And where will you be? This is where I raised you. It's also where Leonidas raised me. I'm going to visit his tomb just beyond <coughs> the end. You should pay your respects too before you get started. I'll try. Right, wow. 
Home sweet home, cast completed. Now, guys, it has been a bit of an unusual video today. Um, we wanted to get back on track with the storyline. We've been doing a lot of side missions here and there, um, but we've not been getting on with the actual main storyline. So, we thought we'd jump back into the main storyline, which is the home sweet home was the start of it. And then in the next ongoing episodes, what we'll do is we'll be able to, you know, follow the path accordingly, hopefully depending on how far we get the levels up to keeping up with the levels of the quests. If they have noticed, the levels of the quests go up quite high in comparison. You have to do side quests just to keep up with the main storyline. Anyway, that's enough little chit chat for me, guys. Thank you much for coming check out this episode. And guys, as always, stay awesome. I will see you guys later. Bye bye now. They want me to do something that can make sense. They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous. But I don't give a fuck, I'ma keep chasing. I got all this potential that's deep inside of me. But they hate when you're successful cause they try to be. They sit there being just mental because you're trying things. And they just want you to settle and do the right thing. So get a good job, don't slack off. Wake up every morning, make a good impression on your boss. Don't do anything that I wouldn't do. And when you're making money, make sure you don't spend it too soon. <laughs> Fuck that, I'll do what I wanna do I got a different path from everyone and that includes you